Hello, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Steam Lab. I'm going to show you how to get set up for SketchUp for Schools. Uh, SketchUp for Schools is free until June 30th of 2020, so you can use it right away even if the school isn't set up correctly. So first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I'm logged in with my school account, and I am. Then I'm going to go to the website. The website is edu.sketchup.com slash app. Um, there should be a link there uh, if you're on my Google Classroom. When you go there, it takes a little while to open. Uh, if you're doing it in Chrome, which is what you should be doing, it will take a little while to open. It might even pop up something saying that you're installing it. And then it says, how would you like to log in? Since I was already signed in with Google, I can click sign in with Google. It will sign in with my school account, but it's going to ask me first, do I want to use this account? Yes, I do. It might give me... Let's see. There we go. So now I'm in. I can just start modeling or I can take a tour before I begin and should be able to watch a video. So this is the menu is what it looks like. You can create new things. Um, before I get started here, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to Google Drive. I'm going to go to Google Drive first because to save your stuff, you're going to want to push new. You're going to choose new folder up here because you're going to want to make a SketchUp folder because SketchUp won't let you make the folder while you're trying to save. So let's create that folder in your drive so that when you're in SketchUp you have a place to save. So I'm going to start modeling here and it takes you right in. So this is what SketchUp looks like. You can see it's called Untitled. It's already saved. If I click here for folder, I've got New, Open, Save As, Insert, Export, Download, and Print. Um, there's The rest of the menu is up here. So you can see you can go back and you can do other things here. When you do use Create New, you can choose which kind of units you are using. In 3D printing, we almost always use millimeters. But when we're getting started here, you can see we're not in millimeters. We're using feet and inches. And we've got uh, a person here for scale. So here are some tools over here you can use this to make stuff. Like you can grab the rectangle tool and just start drawing. It's easy to draw on that plane. If you want to draw on a vertical plane, you might want to use the push pull tool to create a vertical plane first. Once you've got that vertical plane, you can use the pencil tool and you can draw right on it. You can also use midpoints if I snap like that. And you know, you can hold your your line there and drag across. There we go. All right. I can even use uh the push pull tool to remove things too. I can say okay, let's get rid of that part all the way. Go all the way gone all the way gone. So over here you've got some things that are more about what the way things look. So I can go over here to materials and say okay I want to put some color on here. Or I can look through my list of materials and I can find stuff like uh, roofing materials and say I want a roof that looks like that. Alright to get around I'm middle clicking here on the mouse. If you right click you get different things. So middle click goes like this. So that's this side. I can close that by pushing that. And I got forward and backward here. So once you kind of get your, the hang of things a little bit, what I'd like you to do is click right here and go down to curriculum. And you can see that there's a few tutorials that are up there. The one I'd like you to start with is this one. SketchUp for schools introduction. Just push start modeling and there'll be some videos there that can help you get set up. And when you're done with that, you can just make something that looks like something recognizable and go ahead and turn that in uh, to see what you so I can see what you've been able to come up with.